bragging. Hugh Hefner is rolling over in his grave. This is sick. It starts in Europe, then it spreads to New York and California, and then it infects the rest of the nation. This seems to be the track that every single depraved, backward and immoral sickness that has swept the nation. There was a time when we would never consider normalizing some of the absurd orientations that society has demanded that we accept. First, we had to accept them, then they became a protected status, now we're persecuted and soon will be prosecuted for even voicing an opinion against them. The issue of transgenderism is one of the most monumental, because it represents a person who is changing their physical appearance, of their own volition, and requiring that others change their speech and actions to suit that person's preference since it would be considered an offense of the highest order to bring any sort of objective moral standard into any of our politics or lawmaking, we're forced to keep our peace, and take a UDU approach to dealing with the clinically disturbed people, masquerading as, and being accepted as, social pioneers. One new and disturbing part of that push for normalcy for the mentally disturbed has been in making sure that they're in no way discriminated against when it comes to being a beauty icon. It's a well-established fact that beauty is subjective and that preference is something that can't be dictated, but that's just what one European edition of Playboy is pushing with their newest cover model. Infowars lays out the devious plan by Playboy Germany to be the first in its franchise to feature a transgender person on its cover. Model Juliana Farfalla, 21, formerly Pascal Rattermicker, will appear topless on the magazine's cover in its upcoming issue hitting newsstands Thursday. Florian Biden, Playboy Deutschland's editor-in-chief, said the company's late founder, Hugh Hefner, would laud the move as he was resolutely opposed to all forms of exclusion and intolerance. Farfalla had previously appeared on Germany's Next Top Model. The decision follows the U.S. edition's move to feature a transgender person as its centerfold model in 2017. At the time, former U.S. Playboy model Jenna Jameson expressed her displeasure with the company's decision. This isn't just a religious or moral issue, though it certainly is that, it's very much of social and legal interest. Discrimination lawsuits happen all the time especially when it comes to those who've chosen an alternative lifestyle and forcibly put themselves into a protected class. If this is the first step in forcing people to find transgenders sexually acceptable, it's just a hop skip and a jump to people being considered transphobic if they don't want to go out with someone upon finding their birth gender. Fox News reported this story, but they focused on Jameson's reaction to this news and how she is dealing with the loud and proud trans community and their shaming of anyone who objects. Jenna Jameson is not happy with Playboy's choice to feature its first-ever transgender playmate, the French model Ennis Rao, in its November issue. The former adult entertainer told Fox News, I just think it's a ridiculous attempt by Playboy to stay relevant. It is a foolish decision that alienates its consumer base. We unsuccessfully reached out to Playboy for comment. But Cooper Hefner, the son of late founder Hugh Hefner, told the New York Times, it's the right thing to do. We're at a moment where gender roles are evolving. Jameson, 43, took to Twitter to voice her frustration with the legendary men's entertainment brand. Some followers expressed their dismay with Jameson's Playmate perspective. One user said, so many LGBTQ people have been fans of you and actually looked up to you and your empire. That's sad you would be so judgmental. Jameson replied to her former fan, Just because Miss USA won't let me compete, because I'm an ex-porn star, doesn't mean they don't love me, love me.